Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. Today we are working on my combi with the idea is we are going to put a trailer hitch on the bumper so I can tow my other new project, the Coleman Caboose trailer. There it is right there. So anyways, I know it's going to be a little tricky making something on the bumper. I have a vintage speed stainless steel exhaust, which it's really compact but you can see it takes up all the room and then we make it pretty tough to get a hitch so i went on the samba i looked something up for trailer hitches for a split bus and i found jeremy in glen allen virginia offered one so i contacted him he said no problem i'll have it to you thursday boom that simple Okay, here it is. I couldn't wait. Just got my trailer hitch in the mail. Had to jump in the sink and cut it open. Looks pretty awesome. Well packed. Looks pretty good. The workmanship is unbelievable. Now let's see if I can get it installed. All right, first thing I got to do is get it up off the ground and get this bumper off. And as you can see, that muffler is pretty chunky. It's a pretty good size muffler. And with this thing being banged up in the back as it is, I hope that it's not too hard to fit. You can see this corner is pretty mashed up. And I know this trailer hitch doesn't have much flex to it, so wish me luck. Okay, here's the test fit. Of course, I couldn't help myself. Once I got part of the bracket in, I wanted to hold it up and see how it looks. So it's going to clear nicely. I just got to figure out where to notch the bumper. It's a super easy installation. Although with me, I had to do a little improvising because you could see it's got a little crunched in there when this thing was moved around with a tractor when it came off the farm. So it took a little improvising, but I got it to go. And it's going to sit right about there. Now let's get the other side done. All right, let's see if we can record this. Just to show you how easy this setup is that Jeremy's got going on. All right, this little flip goes. right in there you can't see it but it's got all the threads and of course there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand oh you get the idea so this will go in here Those holes line up right there. There's your stock mounts. And then this, oops, hold up three bolts. And then it'll bolt into there. Now, I wish the other side was easier, but of course, that was all crushed. And that took a little improvising and maybe a little drilling. But as you can see, I did get the other side in. You can just get an idea how hashed up that is. Like I said, this thing was pushed around by a tractor and the bucket put some pretty mean little dents in it. Anyways, the side's in, the other side will be in in just a few minutes and then we're gonna hang this sucker and see how it fits. All right, I can't believe I got it to fit. Even as banged up as this side is, it pretty tight got plenty of clearance now I'm gonna get the back apron on and let's see what trimming that bumper up for as hammered as this corner is I still get this rear, this deck lid to latch it fits pretty square so you know it wasn't on the, the bus when it got pushed around That's what these marks are from here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And on the side, and on the door. That's a pretty good fit. Pretty excited. Got the Euro ball mount on it. I think it's going to be too high for this trailer, but we'll see. 
Tomorrow we'll fit the bumper, get the shocks on, get some wiring on it, and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, here we are. We've got the bumper bracket, I mean the bumper trimmed, and got the mount, I mean the trailer hitch bolted onto the bumper itself. Nice and strong. I did a little clearance in to get the tongue to fit. But I'm a one-man show here, so here's how I did it. Of course, there's no way I'm going to be able to lift this thing up myself, so got it set on a couple of milk crates. I'll edge its way in there. My brackets are a little bit twisted up, so it's going to be a little tough getting the bolts in, but I'm determined. Check back in a minute. All right, there it is. You can see you got the bumper clearance. I had to cut a little bit more on one side just to be able to get the pin in and out comfortably, but what can you do? Beat up old bumper anyways. Now let's take it out for a test ride. All right, here you have it all finished up. I'm telling you this is the way to go. Let's see, pull this pin. All right, guys, hope you liked this video. I know it wasn't too detailed, but this is a pretty simple operation. Just bolt it in. Can't beat that. And you're ready to start towing. All right, so if you guys like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff. Thanks for watching. Filet TV.